What's up, Waxer Squad? Welcome back. Welcome back, you guys, to Waxing with Donisha. You guys, today I have none other than King Henry. King Henry. <laughs> <laughs> this is my father, you guys, my dad, my actual blood father, you guys. So we got some fried chicken here, fried chicken wings and some sweet and sour sauce. I was craving it. So we're going to eat that today um, and, you know, talk a little bit. And so let's get into a quick moment of prayer, you guys. And we're going to just jump right in. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this food. We thank you so much, Lord, for pr our protection, oh God. We ask that you bless the hands that have prepared the food, Lord, and make it nourishing to our bodies, Lord. Take out all impurities. Lord, also bless those that do not have. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And we can't forget, this is Waxing with Donisha and Henry and we... Oh. Go ahead. This is Waxing with Donisha and my dad. And we ain't came to play. We be waxing every day, different foods, different ways. If you're new, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because this is the Waxer <laughs> Squad. The Waxer Squad. The Waxer, 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 Waxer squad. squad. There you go. Hey. All right. So let's get it in there. Just dive right in, y'all. You do know how to cook good. Oh, I do know how to cook good. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear him? Yeah, this is good. Mm-hmm. My dad ain't never had my fried chicken before. Mm. Uh oh. I always got something to talk about. I always got something to talk about, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, I woke up this morning. I asked Cliff. I woke up. I was looking at some old videos, you guys, of when I first started this channel. When I started to feel. You know, mm. I started to feel kind of good because I'm like, okay, you know, I was starting to lose my motivation and drive for this channel and I had to remember why I started it, you know, and I started it, you know, because it was a way for me to deal with whatever issues I was going through in my life, um, in my family life and in my marriage, anything. It was like an outlet for me. And that's why I started this channel with just me. But when I got sick, I got sick really bad back in January. Um, I couldn't eat much um, at all. Like I probably and I could not eat fried foods at all. You I, you wouldn't have seen me eating this. So my husband came on to help me, you know, to help me so that the channel could continue and everything so that people didn't leave. And I appreciate him for that. But I started to like not want to do videos anymore, y'all, because. I still, you know, I, I kind of lost my motivation, my drive for it, you know, during this pandemic with everything that we're going through right now. I started to lose my drive. So I needed to remember why I started it. So I started looking at some old videos this morning, early this morning, and I saw that I had did a video by myself, which I'm going to link in the cards above, uh, in the above for you guys. When I first did the sweet and sour chicken and the, um, and the sweet and sour sauce, I'm going to link that in the cards above for y'all. And. I was just listening to myself talk and I was talking about some deep stuff on that, on that video. And it got me to thinking about everything. And so mm -hmm. it especially made me want some more sweet and sour sauce and, uh, and uh, chicken, fried chicken. So that's why I got this. Anyway, I asked my husband, I told my husband this this morning. I asked him if he wanted to do it with me. He didn't want to do a video today. So my dad needed some help with some stuff, so he was coming over. So I was like, Dad, you might as well show your face. It's a good time. You know, they know a little bit about you, but not much. You know what I'm saying? So I felt yeah, like, I like it was a good time for him to show his face. And he's here, so I'm not going to speak for him or anything. You know, it's up to him if he wants to tell you guys a little bit about him or and everything. That's up to him. I'm not going to put him under that pressure because, you know, we're all, we're all individuals, you know, but... Um, I'm just happy that he's here. And so I'm happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> my family, man. I'll talk. What do you want to, what do you want to talk about? You talk about whatever you want to talk about. They don't know you. So they looking at you like, well, you know, he's a handsome fella, but, and I know, he, does he look like my single, dad? Single too. He's single. Does he look like <laughs> my dad, y'all? People are so disrespectful. They'll be like, he looks like your brother. I'll be like, dang, <laughs> does that mean he look younger? I look old. Or it could be both. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, yeah. So, you could talk a little bit about yourself, Dad. I'm going to let you tell your own story. I ain't going to tell it for you. <laughs> you tell what you want to tell, actually. That's up to you. Well, my name is Henry. I'm Donisha's 
biological father. It's good. And um, I just got out of prison. I did 10 years. It's a long time. I've been all over the state, different prisons. You know, I got in prison for selling drugs. Mm. Trying to take care of my family. Somebody told on me. No. Um, yeah. Took 10 years of my life away. Yeah. And I'm back. Good thing is that I'm back. Back like a snack healthy, attack. Clean and sober. Yep. I'm blessed. Looking for a job though right now. Mm-hmm. So I can't wait to get back to work and you know, so I can start taking care of my family, my grandkids. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Isabel, Elijah, <laughs> Lamar's kids, Terrell's kids. I don't want to go calling everybody's name, but <laughs> they know who they are. Yep. Papa, I love you. They're going to watch this. They Papa, might not watch you. my videos, but because you're here, they're going to watch it. I love my family. Big family, man. So, yep, yeah, I'm back. And I'm blessed. And I'm glad to be back. So, we're going to take it up, take it from there. Mm -mm. Maybe, maybe I'll be on another video. Yeah, I put my foot in this sauce. You can't say <laughs> nothing about it. It's mm. good. It is good. And I say that, y'all, because uh, my daughter calling my dad. <laughs> That's how much they love me because she's calling me my from My daughter in the room, room saying, Paw Paw. Paw Paws. I'm busy right now. <laughs> Isabel? Yep. So all, all the women are the boss. Yeah. And can you, yeah, can you talk a little bit about that, Dad? Because you guys. If we listen to our women more. We won't get into too much trouble. Because before I went to prison, my wife told me, you got enough my money. My mother. You got enough money now. Why don't you stop? Did I stop? Nope. I went hmm. to prison. Yep. Hmm. Mm, so if we listen to our wives, maybe we'll learn a lot. And we'll, live longer. And we'll, and we'll be a lot better off, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe our relationship would be a lot stronger too. So, you know, yeah. Food for thought. Listen um, to your wife. I got a question, Dad, because it's your wife. I know that a lot of people think that I'm super like bossy and controlling, and I don't think that I am. You always been that way since she was a kid, though. But. I never try to do it in the it's just it's not it's not that you're way. being rude though. You're not being rude. Right. You just that's just you always been aggressive the way you talk, you know what I'm saying? You just Who did I get that from? From me and your mom, basically. And your mom is like that too, really aggressive when she talks. Mm hmm So I don't think you're ever being rude. I just think you're just, you know, getting your point across. Yeah. And you're trying to help out, you know, you're really trying to help. I'm always trying to help somebody. Mm -hmm. Like I rarely do stuff for myself. You know what I'm saying? Myself, I always Absolutely. put my, my, I always come last, and everybody else I put ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And so I'm always being told like, "Oh, you bossy," or all of this stuff. And I never try to be. I never try to be. I always just been that person where I always just try to help people. Mm -hmm. You know. And um, yes, I am loud, but I'm loud because that's just how I was raised in a loud family. You know, my dad <laughs> wasn't as loud as my mom was. And he and, and certain times he actually hated loud noise. If you talk too loud, he actually hated it. Yeah. You know, my mom was really loud, but I get my loudness from my mom. Majority of it from my mom. Mm -hmm. But regardless of it, it's to me, it's not a bad thing. You know, you are who you are, and you can't change that. Like I've tried to change that and become like a quieter person, but I realized that it's just who I am because that's where I come from. Right. You see, if you think you're being rude, then you would know that. Yeah. But you're not. I don't. I don't see you as being a rude person. Yeah. You know. I just think you just have a very, just very direct, get to the point type of thing. You know. <laughs> you know. You just, get to the you point. Don't, you don't. <laughs> you don't sugarcoat nothing. You know. Because because life is real. And when we were young, like I I remember us walking down the street, and we wouldn't walk fast enough. Boy, we got left. Oh. And a whooping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't forget. Don't forget the whooping. We had to walk. Let's go. We had to be like, kind of like straight to the point, 
we my dad is all i swear that's why i think i'm straight to the point and kind of like direct because that's just how my dad was when we were growing up you know he was like right. straight to the point and direct like okay we're not we're gonna we're gonna do this this is what we're doing and you know, we're not, if, if it was an issue, like if I got in trouble from school, he don't give you too long. Him and my mom, they wouldn't give you too long to tell the truth. You're going to tell it or you're not. Or you're right. going to suffer the consequences. Right. We're not going to sugarcoat it and walk all over it. I didn't raise you to lie. Right. And so that's kind of why I'm kind of, I think that my personality is kind of like direct like that. And it sometimes comes off as rude or aggressive. You know, that's how people see it. But at the end of the day, I have a big heart. You sure do. Yeah. She's a good girl. And I'm always just trying, mostly trying to help people. You know what I'm saying? So. That's good. That's you. I just wanted you guys to get my dad's perspective on that. Like, so you guys can know where it comes from. Because I know there's some of my supporters that are kind of like, well, why is she seem like she's so dominant? And why does she seem like she's abusive? And all this other stuff. And that's really not the case. Mm-hmm. My daughter's on the whole roll. <laughs> she wants out of here. Cliff could have took her outside with him. Plus, me being here, she wants out. She really wanted to be around mm -hmm. me. She wants to ask me a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. It's going to always be that way every time I come over here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My grandson's kind of laid back. He got his right, games. Bella, she, <laughs> he can see you, too. A little he can bit. See Say hi. Say hi. No. Say uh, hi. You hear that? <laughs> Say hi to no. everybody. Say, how you doing? No. Okay, well, maybe later, okay? Okay? All right. Y'all, okay. she's screaming. She missed my dad. Yes, she does. My dad, he didn't lost his appetite though, cause I, I'm tearing this chicken up. He ain't even. Out. One for you. Mm mm. <laughs> you gotta cut that for her. Yeah, we gonna give her. Cause a she piece. gonna waste it. She gonna waste this part. Mm hmm. You, she you ain't hungry. Waste it? She not hungry. She not gonna waste it. And you know I know her. <laughs> she not hungry. This girl's gonna waste that chicken. So yeah. how you like the chicken, Dad? I said you can cook. Say it for Lamar. Say it for Lamar and, and everybody in the back. It's good, man. Good chicken, good sauce. Donisha can cook. Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Y'all watch this a lot, cooking in, in the kitchen. And I think sometimes that Lamar's got a lot of help from his mama, too, over there. I didn't get help from nobody. <laughs> Didn't nobody help me do nothing. Yep, period. You know, I, have food, I learned how to cook on my own by trial and error. Trial and error, honey. But you know, the family, I just said it because the family, you know, I mean, I know the Waxer Squad know I know how to cook, but my family be teasing me, y'all. <laughs> they always be like, girl, you know, you can't cook. Because, you know, I mean, we don't, they don't, nobody ever come to my house, you know, because mm -hmm. I've never been that kind of person that like a lot of people in my house, even if you family like. I ain't never been that person. Like it, it don't matter if I live in a mansion. Like it won't. I'm like my auntie, my auntie Rhonda, my mom's sister. She never really had many of her family over at her house. What I'm like mean? that. You know, it don't matter what if I mean? live in a mansion, mansion or what. I'm not that kind of person. I do really, I really do not like a lot of people in my house because I believe people bring spirits into your house, yeah. and your house is your sanctuary where you sleep. So if you have people coming in and out of your house, they will leave. I believe spirits can get left in your house. That's true. So I do not like a lot of people in my house. I don't care if you are family. Like I don't like people touching me. <laughs> you say yeah, you don't like don't people touch touching me? <laughs> don't touch me. Please don't. I really feel that they'll leave a, something on you then. Mm -hmm. you know? And my brother Terrell, my oldest first, brother, is the yeah. same way. Yeah. My oldest brother Terrell, he's the same exact way. He don't really like a lot of people in his house. You know, it has to be like a special occasion. Good job. If you don't come to my house. My sister's the same way, too. Tierra don't like a lot of people in her house. Go ahead. The last one for Paul Paul. Tierra, she don't like a lot of people in her house, either. I never came over my sister's house when you she lived out sauce? here. No sauce? Mm-mm-mm. Yes. Oh, good. Yeah, this is good, Donnie. Even this is good. Mm-hmm. Even got some left over. Oh, I got a whole bunch of chicken left over. Mm -hmm. That ain't even fried yet. Mm-hmm. Mm Mm. You could take some home, Daddy. Mm. I'll pack you some of that up to go, and I'll fry you some more chicken. That's why I got two big old packs of it. Mm. And you know what, guys? I actually love to cook because it makes me feel peaceful, you know? It makes me, I feel peaceful when I'm cooking. I, I feel relaxed, and I feel I feel real, like, happy. I get real happy. Mm. 
And it makes me even happier when I know somebody is that I've been I was able to feed somebody, somebody was able to eat and feel good inside. That makes me feel even better. So I've always liked to cook, which is probably why I started this channel because I love food and I love to cook. And I especially love when my like kids to love too. it. Mm -hmm. But like this is the truth because you got the Asian got sweet and sour sauce. And you mix that with this sriracha, which is really not that spicy. It mm -hmm. has more like of a peppery, um, a peppery chili taste. Mm. So good. Yeah. So you guys, this video is you not going to be very. <laughs> I'm going to make the rest of the chicken right now. But this video ain't going to be very long, y'all. Mm. Look, we got nothing but bones left. Zip. Bone city, bruh. Nah. There you go. Bones. bones okay. And bones and paper. <laughs> <laughs> you need help? You know you don't like the hard pieces, baby. And my dad's like me, y'all. I probably got it from my dad. I like my chicken fried hard. He do too. Yes. Cause if it's Fishy. if it's not hard enough, it's slimy. Yeah. Ugh. So, all right, y'all. We got other stuff or to fresh. do. <laughs> or fresh. With the door open or something. Yeah. It been fresh. That chicken would have been real fresh with that door open. You cook no, if sauce. you don't fry it hard, it tastes fresh. Mm -hmm. You gotta fry it hard. Anyway, y'all, this is a gonna be a short video. I really just wanted to come and eat with y'all and introduce you guys to my dad. There will be future mukbangs. He don't live far from me, so there will be future mukbangs in the future with him on the channel as we, as he sees fit. But um, thanks, Dad, for coming and stopping by. I know it was you didn't want to do it at first because it was, you know, people, you know. Thanks for having me. Nobody want to be on camera. Mm -hmm. But thank you for coming. And Isabel, you going to say bye? <laughs> say bye. She, bye. Oh, she said she's bye. really happy to see her grandpa, so she did not. She wanted bye. to stay in the video. Yeah. So you guys, we will part, see huh? you guys. I will see you guys bye. on the next video. Bye. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to leave me a comment down bye. below. Hit a like, bye. like, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I love you so much. Watch, subscribe. See you later. Bye. bye. bye.